Thank you so much, everybody. And um, I wanted to, to share one, what, um, this is a video. Let me see if I can find it. Um, one of the sisters shared with me. So let me see whether I can find this and, I, and I'll share it. The sister shared this with me. I just want to um to share it with you, right? This is this is the World Economic Forum, and this is something that um that is part of the agenda. And I think this spoke to what we we um discussed last night. So let us just go ahead and uh, listen to it. It's just maybe a minute or so or less. Let's listen. we discover and bring to the US or to the uh, Europe or to the world new medicines automatically those new medicines will be inserted into uh, the offer of the portfolio that we will offer into these countries I think that uh, it's really fulfilling of a dream that we had together with my leadership team when we started in 19 uh, the first week we met in January of 19 in California and to set up the goals for the next five years. And one of them was by 2023, we will reduce the number of people in the world by 50%. I think today, this dream is becoming a reality. So it's really a purpose-driven uh, company. And All right, family, I hope you heard that. I hope you heard that. This gentleman is saying that it was their goal, their intention when they met in 2019 to introduce certain uh, pharmacia into the medical and into the medication supplies of all the countries of the world. And the goal is, and he's, he's saying that this is their stated goal, their intention. By doing this, to reduce the Earth's population by half in three years. And he said that they believe that they are on track with their goal. Um... And this is a scary thought because when you think about what happened, what is it that they did? And what new medications were introduced? And he said that this was their plan. It was, it was their stated goal. Now the scripture says that he deceived the whole world by the means of the WHO. He deceived the whole world by the means of the WHO, the pharmacia. Um, this is this is hard to 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 contemplate, family. It is hard to contemplate, and the scripture talks about the devil and Satan. Now you know who the devil and Satan is that the scripture is talking about, that beast. Having the seven heads and the ten horns. And that other beast that came up, that other horn that came up, which is stouter than its fellows. It has eyes and mouth of a man and speaking like a man that goes about to deceive the whole world, to have the entire world go after and wander after and follow after and comply with this beast system and to deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of the pharmacia. And he's saying this straight out. And by the way, you know, um, I find it amazing that at the end of his statement, everybody just, yay, everybody gave him a round of applause. I can't believe it. They didn't say, you damn demon. That was your plan all along? Okay, so there you have it, family. And this this speaks to what we, we spoke about last night. 
Um, there's another one also that I'm not going to go into it today, but but here you here you have it. All right, this is something that these people plan. And we also make the commitment that every year, as we discover and bring to the U.S. or to, to the, uh, Europe or to the world new medicines, automatically those new medicines will be inserted into uh, the offer of the portfolio that we will offer into these countries. I think that maybe I should refresh it. Sorry. We also make the commitment that every year, as we discover and bring to the U.S. or to the, uh, Europe or to the world new medicines, automatically those new medicines will be inserted into uh, the offer of the portfolio that we will offer into these countries. I think that uh, it's really a fulfillment of a dream that we had together with my leadership team when we started in 19. Uh, the first week we met in January of 19 in California and to set up the goals for the next five years. And one of them was by 2023, we will reduce the number of people in the world by 50%. I think today, this dream is becoming a reality. So it's really a purpose-driven company. And everybody was cheered, yay. It's amazing, right? If somebody if somebody says, "Listen, we plan to um, wipe out half of y'all," and everybody's just like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, awesome!" And that was uh, 2019. They, they had this yes, meeting. Yes, yes, they planned this for 2019. That's what they planned to do in 2019, and they say three years after 2019, they would expect to see the results of it, and they think that they are on track. Now, there's a lot of reports about um, um, increased deaths all over the world that is being ignored. But if you look it up and you follow it, you'll see increased deaths, which is what deaths um, um, above and beyond what's normal. And the graph is spiking upwards. And is the reason I say family that we are living the market feast. We're living it. I just wanted to make one comment, just looking at him. You know, it is just obvious um, when you look at who it is behind all of this. There's something about them that is, it's it's just not normal. Yeah. It's not normal. And um, (laughs) that's all I have to say about that. Um, It's a sick-minded person and they have no remorse for for what they're doing. and um, it's just it's just uh, just plain evil out there, you know, and it's sad and it's sick. That's all yeah. I wanted to say. Yes, it is. It is. It's sad and it's sick. And when the scripture speaks about Satan and the devil and his angels. And that they present themselves as angels of light and angels of righteousness and benevolent. They're evil, right? And they're in the form of human beings. Because the scripture is not talking about Satan flying around in in the spirit world. It is talking about people. The characteristic of Esau. Yes. People who are um, the living counterpart. And they're acting the part of the devil. Right? You've never seen Satan do anything. You've never seen the, the spiritual angel Satan coming down and doing any of those things. You see human beings doing it. And when Yahweh Shai says, and the devil shall cast some of you into prison, you've never seen Satan come and take anybody and put him in prison. You see the Romans doing it. When they took, uh, when, when Herod killed James, and took Peter and put him in prison, waiting to kill him after Passover. And the Lord, the Lord came and opened the prison door and let him out. That's what Yahweh was speaking when he says that the devil shall take some of you and cast you into prison. And he shall scourge you in your synagogues. Human beings were the ones doing it. 
And they shall take you before kings like they did with Apostle Paul. We have been through it, family, and we are still living it. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Yeah. That's them. That's them. And 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 by the way, what's their religion? Christianity. The religion of all these people. It's yeah, Christianity. It's if you look at every single um, denomination of Christianity, yeah, it's all created by uh, white men. Yeah, every single one of them. Yeah, yeah, and we're not speaking this way as any hate against white people or anything like that. We're just saying that this is the fact that the Edomite nation of people are the ones that created Christ the Christianity as a religion that we know it as today. It, it was them. It, it wasn't the Chinese. Right? No Christian denomination was ever founded by any Chinese person. Zero. Or any Japanese. Can you show me one Christian denomination that was founded by the Japanese? No, none. By the Ishmaelites, none. By the Africans, none. So, 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 what then? Did God have a preference towards Edom? Because the real Christians were destroyed and killed by the people who are now claiming to be the Christians. The real Christians who are the Israelites, who are the saints, were driven out of their homeland, driven into exile, chased, Um, wiped out of Europe, shipped out of Europe during the time of the Inquisition. The people that they, the, 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 the people that the Inquisitors were killing, were the Hebrew Israelites in Europe. It wasn't other Christians. It were the Hebrew Israelites who were the Christians? The original Christians are the Hebrew Israelites, and this other Christian church was killing them. Referring to them as heretic, heretics and wizards and witches to keep in the Sabbath. And for not eating unclean foods. They were being killed by the Christian church. Oh boy, there's so much to be said about this. But anyway, with that family, all praises, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh and His Son whose name is Yahweh Shai.